Growing up, I was the kid that always loved learning. I was always with my head in the book, pen in my hand. I loved to do homework and I never wanted to miss a day of school. The reason being, my mother. She's a former high school English teacher and a current retired public administrator of 33 years. Not only did she show me the impact of a great education, but she also taught me not only how to be a great student, but what it means to be a great teacher. You know, she would always garner attention around town in the local newspaper on a local news channel uh, for being a teacher that not only increased the literacy rates of the students in her class, but also showed care and concern. I can remember as far back as being a little kid walking around the high school halls of J.P. McCaskey, and even to this day when I go back home to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, I occasionally bump into some of her old students who, who recognize me as Mrs. Perry's son, um, and they would always be, you know, have a testimony of how Miss Perry showed them and, 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 and gave them the tools that they could use outside of school. And they just loved Miss Perry, not only because she respected them as students, but she cared about them as people as well. And because of this, a lot of the stories and, you know, the, the common theme that I would always hear is, even from the bad students that wanted to cut school and didn't really care about learning, is that any time they went to Mrs. Perry's English class, they were at the they were at the front of the at the front of the class. They were at the tip of their seat, um, always just eager. And it was because the affection and the behaviors that my mother showed toward them as students, uh, which is the reason why I chose the topic of teacher immediacy and its effects on student learning. You know, I really feel that student success and motivation in school and life can be greatly affected by teacher immediacy. What is immediacy? And more importantly, what do the behaviors look like? According to Chesbro and McCroskey, 2002, they defined immediacy as a perception of closeness. Mera Bean, a psychologist and UCLA professor who is credited with you know, defining what immediacy behaviors are to begin with, said that immediacy behaviors draw people closer and these people, therefore, are more likely to draw closer to things that they like and farther away from things that they don't. Therefore, teachers can engage in verbal and nonverbal communication that creates a perception of closeness between themselves and their students. Now, what do these behaviors look like? Smiling, a slight touch, gestures, open communication, open body language, but it doesn't just stop there. According to Aiden and Boisakaya, 2007, within their studies, they showed that immediacy also included behaviors such as talking about experiences that occurred inside and outside of the classroom, communicating with learners before and after classes, using humor to attract attention, and encouraging students to participate as well as calling them by their first and or last names. Now, throughout my research, I found through four studies Husu, 2006, in her study of 303 Taiwanese students trying to learn English, that there was a positive correlation between immediacy behaviors and their effect towards learning the, 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 the language of English. Lam, 2011, stated that words and, words and expressions uh, like us and we, rather than I and you, um, create that bridge of closeness between a teacher and a student. And also she concluded that uh, immediacy positively uh, correlates with effective and cognitive learning. Evans, 2002, said that achievement is higher when teachers care. And when combined with trust and competence, the relationship becomes even stronger. Kusuku, 2009, even in the interactive world of online education, collected online discussions and concluded that uh, interactive immediacy uh, in the form of agreement, approval, invitation, positively affected student participation within the online world. Now don't get me wrong, just because you perform immediate behaviors or uh, conduct yourself in this way, doesn't automatically make students like school more. Uh, however, I feel that it will increase 
their attitude towards learning, um, their increased motivation towards you as a teacher. And like I said, once they like you as a teacher, they are more inclined to pay attention in class, which makes your job easier as a teacher. With being immediate or acting out with immediacy behaviors, um, there are some shortcomings as well. Um, as you build the outside relationship, as you build the closest with your students, uh, you may find that students, you know, they may refer to you more than their friends. They may refer, refer to you over even their parents. Um, so the book suggests, the text, uh, Chesbro and McCroskey 2002 state that just because you enact or act uh, using behaviors of immediacy, don't become a pushover. You know, you still want to have uh, those boundaries. You still want to have uh, rules and regulations and also honor respect between teacher and student. Uh, how, do, how do immediacy behaviors uh, connect with a biblical worldview? Uh, well, quite frankly, in Romans 12 verses 9 through 11, it states, let love be genuine, abhor what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with brotherly affection, outdo one another in showing honor, do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Now what better way uh, can you serve the Lord than serving your students? You know, the love that you have for teaching and a love that you can show towards um, in the form of caring and immediacy behaviors towards your students um, does just that. You know, I find that being a, a, a therapeutic support staff um, before uh, becoming active duty Navy, that working one-on-one -on -one with students within not only the elementary school, the middle school, but also the high school level, that teachers simply just teach from the lesson plan. But in, especially in today's educational climate, teachers have to become more than just teachers. You have to show kids that they care. You have to change the curriculum and adapt it so that each student has a different experience when they're not only in your class, but when they're in the classrooms all throughout their educational career. He says, I could care less about Newton's third law. I want to teach you something for you to take outside of school. That's what he's told us before. So he really, it's, it makes me feel like he really cares about me and I know he does. You know, students, are greatly affected by their teachers. As teachers, we see students, you know, six, seven, eight hours a day, every day, from the time that they hit kindergarten all the way until they graduate high school. Uh, so showing that they care, showing a personal liking into what they, what may be going on behind the scenes in their family life, giving them that opportunity of open communication and getting to know them more than just the student that sits in the back seat of the, uh, of the class or the student that rarely comes to school. Uh, immediacy behaviors and a touch of immediacy can go a long way. Uh, so in conclusion, students need to be affected by their teachers in a way where it promotes learning, where they become attentive to the topics that the teacher is teaching, and also getting to know your student has pays dividends not only while you're teaching them but far after they even leave your class. You know, like again, my mother, the students that she taught back in the early 80s, the early 90s, her students still refer to her as Miss Perry, one of the teachers that they love. Not because what they remember about English literature, but because she taught them what it meant to be a student and she cared about them as people in general. I hope this sheds light on what immediacy behaviors can do within the classroom as it promotes and interacts you know, and increases levels of motivation, but it also affects the effective learning, the cognitive learning, and also the psychomotor realm of learning. I'm Joey Cross, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you.